What's up everybody? Awkward anxious Jennifer here. I'm trying not to talk too loudly because it's like 5 30 in the morning and I don't want to bother my neighbors. Uh, so for those of you who have been following me for a while, I'm sorry it's been a while since I posted. The week before Christmas is the busiest week of the entire year for um, dog grooming and so I worked six days straight. Six days straight. Some of them were 10 hours with no lunch and I was just exhausted. And now I've been packing and getting ready to be um, traveling in my car, living and traveling in my car. I don't know how I'm gonna word this yet. So I wanted to show you the craziness that is my apartment right now as I'm putting stuff in storage, throwing stuff away, donating stuff, packing stuff. It's crazy. So let's see what we got. I'll start with the bedroom because this is what I've been working on for about the last hour. Um, I woke up at like 4.15, 4.30 this morning, figured I may as well get started. So I've gone through all my clothes, threw out everything that I hate, that I don't wear, that doesn't fit, that has holes in it, and I'm down to this amount of stuff, which is already not much, except I have a lot of socks and underwear. But I still want to go through and probably pull out a few more things because, you know, I don't have a very big car. I don't have a whole lot of space. So I better make sure that everything I have is necessary. Um, this is a duffel bag that I'm going to try to fit all my clothes in. I have another one like it if, it if not everything fits in just one. But I'd like to fit all my clothes in one. Underneath it, that's just a mattress pad. And then my bed, I think, is going in storage. Thank you to my family members for helping me with my furniture. Closet. Empty. Look at that. Uh, storage thing I have to get rid of. Cleaning supplies. I'll show you the bathroom first. I haven't really done any cleaning, although the um, closet is nice and empty. Empty closet. But I still need to tackle this. Got a bunch of stuff I gotta go through. I hardly use any of it, so most of that's probably gonna be trash. Um, here's the office. Oh, this is the biggest. Ah, but at least closet's empty. That's uh, the computer, it's going into storage. Printer, printer paper, empty boxes and totes. That is part of my desk that I think is going in storage. And then this big metal cabinet, I still have to sort through. This is my next big project after I finish with the clothes. This thing is just full of junk. But again, it's stuff that I mostly have not touched in the last two years. This one's probably mostly trash. But I gotta empty that today so it can um, go away. And then <laughs> this is my pile of stuff that I roughly want to keep. I'm gonna have to go through all this stuff again, see if I can get rid of more of it, figure out how I want to pack it. Uh, right now I've just been tossing stuff in one giant pile and it looks a mess. So that's going to be loads of fun. Everybody asks, well, what about privacy and darkness and how are you going to sleep and whatnot? So I got some fabric oh, to cover my windows. So I'm going to put the black facing the outside of my car and this pretty lavender facing the inside of my car. Um, and I don't have a sewing machine, but I got a um, hot glue gun for Christmas. So I'm going to glue the layers together and then cut them up and like Velcro them to my ceiling so I can just put them up and have privacy. And then like if I get a knock on my window and I have to leave it in a hurry, I can just tear them down real quick. So that's gonna be fun. Come this way. More junk in the hallway I have to deal with. Over here, uh, all my living room furniture was taken away. And um, I was sleeping in my recliner. So now I've got an air mattress that I'm sleeping on until I leave. So at least a couple more nights. Um, 
thought I was leaving Monday. Maybe I could move sooner than that. I don't know what my plan is. Uh, so my office chair is the only chair that I have left right now. Just some stuff I need. This stupid old TV. Do you have any idea how hard it is to recycle a TV anymore? It's almost impossible. There's only one place in town that takes old tube TVs like this and they charge and I think they're closed. So I have some friends coming over later today to um, get it out of here. Lots of trash. My cable box and modem that I have to go to um, the um, Comcast place today. And let's go around this way. Pretty much empty dining room. The stuff in this corner is um, going in storage. Random stepladder in the middle of the dining room. Boxes. Um, trash can and then the kitchen. Ugh. It's kind of halfway packed up, but there's still a lot of stuff I gotta go through. And uh, I, I kept my pots and pans but I don't want to be filling up my family members' basements and stuff with a whole bunch of stuff that I may or may not ever need again. Uh, so I'm going to try to, I think, get on Craigslist and sell like the crock pot and the microwave and the toaster oven. Um, and then I've got food that I'm going to have to sort through. What can I take with me in my car? What should I just toss? Half of it's probably expired anyway because I hate to cook. So I still got to get through all that. Um, not a whole lot left in my fridge except expired milk and some leftovers that I haven't gotten to yet. And um, not much in my freezer, which is good because I'm not going to be able to take frozen stuff with me. So let me flip you around again. So anyway, kind of stressed out. It's been a rough, rough week trying to coordinate with people, with family, to try to get my stuff in storage and trying to sort through all my stuff myself and also trying to work. Uh, it's stressful. So uh, I should be out of here in the next few days. Today is Wednesday. I'm hoping I could leave as early as Friday. Might not be until Monday. Mm. I don't know, there's some variables yet. But I'm mostly looking forward to this. Definitely a little bit nervous for sure. I'm stressed and frustrated. I'm first going to go stay with a family member in Texas um, for a time, a few days or something, maybe a week, to get used to living in my car in a safe place so I can get everything sorted and how do I want to sleep and and what's the best way to organize my stuff and get all that kind of figured out before I'm just out in public. This family member lives in a really secure area and um, uh, I'm welcome to come in and use their bathroom so I can get used to sleeping in my car and have access to the bathroom without being in a Walmart parking lot or something, which is where I'll be spending a lot of my nights. Uh, so that'll be first. Um, so that kind of helps people feel better that I'll have a nice safe place to start out and get, get, get my mojo going, get a routine going, I don't know. So that's my update for now. I hate my hair. I've just been growing it out and it's long enough to put the top of a top knot in a ponytail. I don't even know what to call it. I hate what's happening, but, um, you know, I'm not just going to bring my clippers with me and shave my head in random truck stops. And I also don't necessarily want to pay for a bunch of haircuts. I think I'm just going to grow it out. And the process of growing out my hair sucks. Well, anyway. I guess I should shut up now. Get back to work. Maybe get something to eat. I will keep you all updated. Um, have a great day. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.